Hi everyone, this is Sakshi and welcome back to our channel Middleware Techie. In this session, we'll learn about number ranges. So the number ranges in SAP Cloud Integration are important for maintaining data integrity and consistency in various integration scenarios. Number ranges basically generate unique or sequential numbers much like counters in programming languages like CPP or Java. So what happens in number ranges is Basically, the system stores any lost increment values ensuring that numbering continues without any gaps. Consider an example. If a number is skipped today, it won't be reused tomorrow. The next message will start from where the sequence left off. In SAP Cloud Integration, number ranges are used to create identifiers, track transaction sequences, or ensure uniqueness in message processing. Common use cases include generating unique order IDs or creating sequential invoice number, helping to maintain proper order and avoid duplicates in your integration flows. Let's see by practical example how number ranges works. So before creating any integration flow, let's first create a number range. So to create number range, go to monitor section and in that go to integration and APIs, scroll down and in the manage stores you can see number ranges click on that and let's add one number range here so here i want to show how number ranges works for book ids so here i will give name as book range consider minimum value as 1 Max value will give 1000 and field length. So remember, field length is length of the maximum value, and here the length of over 1000 is 4. Click on this rotate. This rotate implies that whenever we reach to our maximum value, the numbering will start from 1 again. That means whenever we reach to 1000, the numbering will start again from the 1 and again to the and again up to the thousand and so on let's click on ok here so you can see our number range is created here now let's go to the design tab first let's connect this sender to the start as usual HTTPS adapter Give here address. I am giving them here as number range demo. Keep other things as it is. Again, condition as it is. Now let's add one content modifier. Give it the name as number range. Now we we'll store one property here. Let's add the property. We can give name here as book counting. Now as we are using number range, select here number range. Now here, for the source value, we need to add whatever name we have given to a number range that is book range. So copy this value here and paste in source value. This is it. Now in message body, we need to add here payload for our one book document so let's take it from the github you can find the github link in description section and you can copy the payload from here so i'm copying this first record so this basically includes details of books in the library and the for the for the first book the id is 101 
here you can see next value whenever we create number range we get whenever we create number range we get here the next value and it is 0001 that means that although book id here is 101 when we deploy the integration flow we'll get book id as 0001 that is 1 let's see how it works let's take the message mapping add after the content modifier and i'm giving here name as mm number range this mm stands for message mapping let's create it here for the source and target message you will require xsd file which contains data of that library this file again you can get from github account here book.xsd is the name of file let's add source message again for the target message file will be the same let's map it map every element and now for book id what we'll do is delete this and here search for the function get property next get constant from here now in place of constant add the property here and we have given property name as book counting map it here again this map for the book id okay so let me explain why we have given here get property so what are we doing here is we are fetching the property by using this get property function and mapping it to our book id this means that in the book counting we have stored our number range and that number range is mapped to book id and so whenever we deploy the integration flow instead of 101 book id we we'll get book id as 0001 or 1 let's save it click on ok now deploy the integration flow so here you can see this message mapping is not connected let's connect it first okay now let me just arrange this integration flow so using this symbol here you can arrange your integration flow you can see it's now arranged let's deploy once again Go to navigate to manage integration content to get the endpoint. Let's copy this endpoint. Go to your postman. Paste the endpoint here. Let's check authorization. Oh, you can see the environment is not selected here. Select our environment. And now select basic path. Here, give your username and password. Save and then send.
okay so we got response as 200 okay so here you can see our book id is 0001 and that is what we want in our output now you may wonder what happened if i in the payload now let's add here one more book let me just copy from here i'm adding this book here let's check our number range when we refresh it now you can see the next value is changed to 2 so that means that now we should get next value as 2 let's deploy the integration flow we can just remove this receiver from here okay so the integration flow is deployed go to the postman send it again let's change it to excel now you can see the book id is 0002 and similarly if you add another book the book id will get changed let's refresh it you can see the next value is 0003 and this is our number range whenever you add new number of any record in your document you will get the value as next value and not the previous one and neither the value you put in your payload and this is why we say that the system stores any lost increment values ensuring that numbering continues without any gaps and i have given one example that if a number is skipped today it won't be reused tomorrow and the next message will start from where the sequence left off so this is all about number range and this is it for today thanks for watching the video and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next session thank you